Psychedelic bonus episode. So, so trip. Summer trip two features shaman from Gibson, BC. Oh, mystic one. Boxer turned comedian Shlomo McPeak. From the Urban Safari Animal Rescue Society, Gary Oliver. The minimalist jug band Al Mater. First runner-up Miss World Canada with her ribbon dance that won first place advanced solo. Yeah. Judge's favorite at the U.S. Dance Magic Competition. Betty Lou. And so much more. Well, who was at the summer trip last year? Yeah. Wait, so the only thing from last year that we great. brought uh, back, back around uh, is uh, the, the shaman from Gibson, B.C. He came here. Oh, no. took a, uh, a holy sacrament earlier. <laughs> and even if you have not taken the holy sacraments yourself, we welcome you to join in this blissful energy. Everybody, out of your seats. Come on. These are our bliss calisthenics. Move your arms around. <laughs>
Casey was slower am I. Yeah. that you're better at certain things, right. that you can maybe uh, reach your creativity a lot smoother and yeah, faster. Yeah. So there was one time in my life where uh, it was about 15 years ago, and I was on a drum set, and I, I played uh, drums. Amazing. Yeah. Like, amazing. Yeah. But I was really high, and no one was there to hear it. <laughs> Ain't that the way? But I'm pretty sure I could, I could yeah, do it. you got it in you. Uh, and Ryan, I know that you've like wanted to paint. Do you have a history kind of? Uh... A little bit I dabbled, yeah. But nothing, ever, but yeah, exactly. I wouldn't call myself a painter. <laughs> so um, before the show, as kind of a sober control group, uh, we just, uh, let's see what we painted and drummed like an hour ago. Which I think is better than a... It's happening, baby. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your first guest? Yeah. First guest. <laughs> that was a hell of an opening <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your next guest... That's a safe one. Good for you. He was a pro boxer. Got his head hit a lot. Punched right in the face many times. Yeah. And now he's a comedian. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Slow-Mo McPeak! Slow-Mo! <laughs> Last time I was on this show, there was some sort of other variation of plumbing. <laughs> About three years ago, I think it was. And I said, then they should have gotten new mic stands. <laughs> I was here um, in a sort of different variation of Palmer's as I didn't, uh, as an interpretive dancer, <laughs> to Mr. Roboto. 
which is likely would have to be the um, uh, high watermark for my so-called uh, career of stand-up comedy. <laughs> and then boom, Dennis DeYoung or his, those who represent him, let me know. Shlomo, you can't dance to Mr. Roboto no more, <laughs> interpretive or otherwise. <laughs> Which is why I brought up this robot costume. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and so I was gonna see in this robot costume that everybody would see that we're becoming robots, people. <laughs> you know? Thanks, I know. <laughs> and then, and this is what, and just we end commercial drive always, you know, it's great. And I love the commercial drive and the real. Thanks, real, for having me. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, and... Shlomo. Yes. We gave you five minutes. How many cards oh. do you have in your hand? <laughs> like, how many cards do you have in your hand? <laughs> what do you got? Are these, like, notes for these Valentines for people? I did get a deal on the envelope. Okay. <laughs> And what was the deal you had to kind of bring them all on stage but and party? But I paid full price and even more for the two belts, <laughs> both of which I hesitate to add. <laughs> Don't work. <laughs> and you did hesitate, though, yeah. by the way. Sorry. Use your no sudden movements from you guys either. Why? They're gonna be real life animals coming from on stage. You can still enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah, but that's about it. Chick, chick, chick. <laughs> Imagine if this was the show. <laughs> For a second. It is, that's what's tricky, man. It is the show. Exactly. are the shape of a snake's head. Oh. So when he puts his wings together, 
Of course, an Ooh. enemy, a bird, or someone thinks Didn't you know, see that tonight? Right? Right? Let me tell you that. Ah, that's that's see it? Yeah, image for yeah I do. Oh, that's amazing. It's crazy. Like, ah, it's a snake. No, it's paper thin. <laughs> and our, our next animal we have, he can bite. Oh boy, I don't. This, I don't like this kind of stuff. Oh. This is. Oh my God. He's Goliath. He's not a Goliath frog. He's called a pixie frog. Nothing pixie about it, but no. that's what they're called. And they have sharp teeth, really sharp. So if they bite, they're gonna put a few good holes in your hand. That's wow. right. Oh. Yeah. Wow. It looks like it's about to explode. I know. It looks like he is. <laughs> <laughs> are there any? I know some animals are illegal for you to have. Is there? Is there something you'd really like to have, but uh, the law won't let you? Um, there's a lot of animals. I, I had a um, an eight foot American alligator for quite a while, wow. and um, they passed new laws in 2007 called the um, Controlled Alien Species Act which forced me to give up my alligators, 39 venomous snakes, and about six snakes that were over uh, three meters. Just as so. the tortoise is eating like crazy right now, if you want to check in, it's pretty cool. Look at that, it's amazing. Whoa! Just make sure you're facing them. You don't see TV like this anymore. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, spider. I'm not really in the mood for that. There you are. <laughs> no, okay, just calm down, relax, I'm breathing. Now, the worst part of a tarantula spider is not the bite, it's the hair. They can shed their hair at will, and each hair has got a toxin and resin on it, and uh, it can cause a lot of irritation, itchiness. I once got it in my eyes, and my eyes looked like two stoplights within an hour. Wow. Good luck with that, Paul. because they're disappearing like crazy off the planet. And, uh, it really is sad. You know, and it is sad. And uh, our, our future generations are gonna miss out on a lot of animals that we appreciate today. There you are! And the urban safari! Yes, you did it. I love you. It's in a car accident. Nothing well, pulls gonna, me back. We're gonna FaceTime you in about 20 minutes. I'll be there, I'm gonna put my phone on loud. All right. Love you both. <laughs> slower song boys boys boys
This episode of Paul Anthony's Talent Time is brought to you in part by Novis, offering internet, TV, and phone service, plus quality programs like this. Thanks for coming back and sticking with us. <laughs> Uh, sad news, Ryan is in rough shape, and he came for a bit, he tried his best, he's in, he was in a car accident, he total, completely totaled his car. So uh, let's, uh, let's hear for Ryan, how much we love him, and all the good stuff we want to send his way. And now when you, while you watch your next act, I'm going to be getting a massage. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, the Minimalist Jug Band. So, I know this is a psychedelic show, so this is psychedelic in that it's about a dream, but really it's more just punk rock because it just is. I dreamt that I was back in school. There was a test I had to pass, but I couldn't find the room. I had skipped too many classes, so I was doomed. To never graduate I gave up cause I assumed Man, it was too late I woke to find I wasn't 17 No, I was old and gray This realization was a drag Here's what I had to say At least I, 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 I don't have to go, go, go to Fucking high school No, I, 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 I don't have to go, go, go in high school. Well, life since school's been up and down. Poor hearts been trashed and stomped upon. Some jobs were brutal, some bosses cruel. But one idea got me through. One thing I knew was true that I, I, I don't have to go, go, go to fucking high school. I, 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 I don't have to go, go, go to fucking high school. I try to sleep. But lie awake, getting old's no piece of cake. You watch your friends and family die while staring at a starless sky, mocked even by the constellations. But I find constant consolation that I, I don't have to go, 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 fucking eyes. No, I don't have to go, 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 fucking eyes. I think there's things that I don't even dare to think about. Bewilderment, it clouds the mind. But there's one thing I have no doubt. In fact, I am inclined to shout that I don't have to go, go, go to fucking high school. No, I don't have to go, go, go to fucking high school. Wait. I've been half starved, I've been defeated, and I've slept out on the street. I mop floors and I dug ditches. Well, power hungry sons of bitches turn this planet to a cesspool. That's what those assholes call successful. I'm a failure and a fool, but still, I think it's kind of cool that I don't have to go, 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 fucking ass. Everybody now. I don't have to go to the fucking ass. Thank you very much. Woo! Oh, man! The Minimalist Jug Band! Thanks, Jody. That was amazing. Oh, man. How made her. Ooh-wee. Um, we were going to check back in with uh, our friend Ryan Beal. Um, did you, oh, sweet. I guess I could just do it here. Might as well. I uh, love him. Okay, we're gonna FaceTime Ryan too. Just gotta get a, this, wi I gotta put the new Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, just cancel. Oh, landscape, man, landscape. Can you go landscape? Oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Uh -oh. <laughs> wow, you're having a way better time <laughs> since you left the show. Uh, yeah, how are you feeling? A little woozy. Hi, we love you, Ryan! Uh, hey, Ryan. Uh, 
How you feeling? Is there anything we, we should talk about? Just send me a couple pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have, in the audience have any questions for uh, Ryan or myself? We never get to do that. Where do you live? What kind of <laughs> 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 Where do you live? Yeah, good one. Oh, oh, because you're sending good vibes that way? Oh, and pizza. <laughs> I thought you were literally just like, where do you live? Favorite pizza. What's your favorite pizza? I think these are all gonna be pizza related questions. Like pizza with a bit of greens on it. <laughs> fancy pizza, gourmet pizza. Um, pizza with fancy cheeses. <laughs> it sounds like I'm killing, am I killing? You're killing. <laughs> How are your dogs doing? They're fine. <laughs> yeah. Here's one. Woody. Are you single? What's exactly? Did you hear that? There was a, are you single? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's getting all too personal. Let's go back to dogs and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> dogs and pizza, dogs and pizza. I think this is going pretty well. <laughs> Because it is kind of weird, like being, when I'm by myself, this, in front of a crowd, by myself, like in an altered little, it's, I'm just sitting on a massage table, like. Uh, I just got a massage. Anyway, sorry, sorry, I'll, I'll talk to you later. We can, uh... okay, here, I'll turn it, I'll turn it, or I'll do this. Bye, Ryan! Betty Lou.